Jin has been looking very strong all weekend. It definitely has. But Super Akuma, we saw that ridiculous combo. That was, combo was so ridiculous. That was dumb. And then, you know, actually, no. The combo was ridiculous, but the low parade. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the, uh, he was such a clutch guy. He's so experienced in tournament. Two times finalist, of course. But here we go. Now, Speed Kicks trying to get off to a good start in this Tekken World Tour season. And bro, look at that. Forward four counter hit. Off the bat, but say outside. Wow. Side walls, black, side spooky rocks, boy. I know, man. My voice is already starting to go. Just <laughs> a little bit, little bit too excited there. Yeah, but Super Kuman, of course, it is top uh, winner semi slow. It's only first to two until we get to top three. So there we go. Seven golden letters for speed kicks. That's Strength a great bats. way to start. It. How, how, what, what a perfect way to start to get that confidence in. And yeah. we know speed kicks. Like we, we spoke to him a little bit after um, the event, and he had, he, he's been doing his homework. He's been researching these players and actually coming up with game plans for these players. That's what he does, man. And you know, this guy knows all the little intricacies about movement, where he has to move, how to how to, to, to beat these characters, man. Yeah, but look man. at this. It only takes one, Bubsy. One down three, but doesn't finish the combo, though. Ooh, got to jump him. He wasn't clean enough to get a follow-up. Yep. Speed Kicks does have raging. To be very careful here. Jin, very, very strong character in this season of Tekken 7. Oh, no. Arguably the best character in the game. But here we go, Super Kuma. One hit away. There we go. The crowd is going to get loud for that one. Yes. One round apiece. I like it. Kept it nice and simple with the mid. Yep. That forward four is such a good move because it has multiple uses, man. Defensively, offensively, all sorts. But he gets him right out the air with that magic four. A great tool against Akuma. Yeah, doesn't reach the wall, unfortunately. Ooh, that was before I was going to splat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but Super Akuma's back against the wall. Needs to be very careful. Yeah, Speaky is doing a great job using that forward four just to keep him out of range because Akuma, of course, very scary in that close range. One down, three clean hit is all you need to take the round. But yeah, he does have the bar as well. You see, he's looking for it. Super Kuma struggling to get into into range right now. Yeah, it's, it's, he keeps playing such a good game. He's, he's putting those pokes out there and he's backing off to that same kind of range. He keeps on staying at that range where the down three is not going to be clean. We said this yesterday about that down three being a clean hit. Yeah, and look at that fly swatter right at the air. That standing four, great hitbox. Hits him right out, demon oh. flip again. Great movement from Speed Kicks. A little back dash there. Prevented the clean hit from coming. And now he has rage. Here we go. Oh dive my kick. gosh, dive kick again. Oh, seven seconds left on the clock. <gasps> And is he gonna back? He went oh. straight in. What's gonna happen? Oh my god! No! How what? Oh, oh, beautiful stuff there from Speed Kicks. Timing him out there. Oh, he got hit with the online day one. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh. You love to see it. One round away from taking the first match here. Speed Kicks to secure a spot in that winner's finals. Guarantee himself top three again. No clean hit. Here's the hop kick. Yeah, had a great read on the low. And it's gonna uh, go towards uh, the wall. Uh, Speed okay, kicks. Don't get the wall splat. I better be seeing some USA chants in the chat if you guys are at home. Sending energy here all the way to Lyon, France. He's back up there. Once again, he's staying in that range. Doesn't want that down three to be clean. Yes. I, don't, has he, I think he only hit one clean hit right now. I don't, no, I don't remember the clean hit. Okay, nice. Okay. Down four sweep. Spring kick comes in. Oh, here we go. He's got the party started. He's going to get the tail spin. Gets the tail spin. Got to be hey. careful because the wall is a bit weird here, nice. but he gets That's the wall splat. Nice. That was great awareness, actually, who where the wall is. Because we've seen this stage and the circumference and then Buki rocks and then... <laughs> the circumference <laughs> and all sorts of yeah. angles. It's like I went to school, guys. The circumference. That's you know, where you see it. Again, oh. gets hit by that string. Um, yeah. Great back dash and again for speed kicks, but the demon flip manages to get in. Again, no deep, no clean hit. That back dash is too good. Yeah, he's keeping great space in, but doesn't want to get caught by jumping. Just as I said that. Yeah. Gets the wall splat. It's going to do huge damage. Yes. He tries to go for a tech trap. Nice dive kick. Here we go. Pressure now. Down forward one. The Buki rocks. Oh. Chases and that is plus. So when you chase the fireball down from that distance, it is plus. Yeah. Otherwise, if you didn't cancel it into the FADC. Wow. Speed kick yes. would have been able to punish that. Yeah, definitely. And we have a bunch of gonna share now. It's <sighs> not where this you want to be, but it is actually really scary. Like we were saying this, if you turn the bracket the other way around on his head, that's what you would have believed. Before. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. It's like the winner's side is on the losing side. No yeah. disrespect, but of course, those yeah. names like knee. You would expect Chikorin yeah. Knee and these guys to be on the winner's side, right? But it's actually turned upside down. 2019, guys, it's a new year. Yes, because Speed Kicks overcome his France Demons here. Yeah, man. The last one in the corner of French players. He's been doing a great job, man. He's been doing a great job versus these front, uh, French people. Yeah. But he has one more in front of him here. He needs to get two matches in a row. 
Sticking with Jin here though, Bubsy. Yes, well, it's probably his most comfortable. He said, I don't know about Horang in this match. No, with I don't. that DP and in, in the stance. <laughs> Not only that, but I don't even know how many uh, good tools he has to throw out a Demon Flip. So if you guys yeah. are not aware, so versus Akuma, what you want to do is side step left, side walk left, generally against his pokes, but also have moves that can hit them or float him out of Demon Flip. Yeah, I'm guessing um, Jin's standing four will be a good anti. Yeah, he's been using it a lot, yeah. yeah. The French crowd getting loud now with Super Kuma with a very, very healthy life lead, but he has V-Kicks and Rage. What can he do? Big whip with the sweep and Super Kuma just keeping that combo nice and simple, going one round up. Super Kuma looking comfortable. Very comfortable, man. He's yeah. rocking his chair. He's feeling himself. He's in his element here. Is he going to look to do one better? Because he seems to got um, second in the first year, right? Yeah, yeah, the first year at the mix-up on this right on this stage right here. He yeah. got second to JDCR, I believe. Mm -hmm. So he's looking to make one better, probably, more well, most likely. He will finish second again. Yeah, for sure. But Speed Kicks answering back very, very nicely, man. He has a full life bar. But the EXDP is going to get punished. I don't think he meant that. Nope, he didn't. No, he didn't mean that. That sometimes happens when you press forward and do fireball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that also means that one bar meter was wasted there going into the third round. You know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> you shouldn't have to get that back now. Yeah. Obviously, Akuma, Geese, these characters, Eliza with uh, Mita is a lot more scary, man. I like that sweep from Speaker. has been a little bit more offensive now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's been very passive in that last match, but turning up the heat now. Okay, Murica, four, bro. Murica. Four, four. Favorite move from your four four. So much range. We called it the um, what's it the pocket knife? That's what we're gonna call it. The pocket, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, that's, ah, that's it. Swiss Army knife. <laughs> All-purpose move, boy. Mm. Nice. All nice. oh, the setups, man. The French setup, the fromage. <laughs> that's fromage, boy. Nice combo. Yes. Just, I like the patience there for Speaky. Didn't want to get up just in case he teched into a down free situation. Yeah. Akuma had the bar and that could have been the round. Exactly. You don't want to tech roll into a, into a free mix up from Super Akuma. So good patience there from Speaky, ah. but. That could have been dead, actually. Yeah. Ooh! And that is it, ladies and lads. We are on set point now for Super Akuma to move into winner's finals and put Speed Kicks into the loser bracket. There's a demon flip throw. Yes. It seems that Super Akuma is now really in um, Speed Kicks' head. He was jumping a lot the last round. It seems that Super um, Speed Kicks didn't have an answer. Yeah, but an accidental DP there from Super Akuma definitely wasn't intentional. And Speed Kicks takes full advantage, gets the launch. Oh! Oh, that could have been really big, but still gets the launch anyway. Yeah, caught Speed Kicks ducking. And that's going to go. be a full combo here. What's the okie dokie? Ooh, that wasn't clean hit range. That was clean hit range. This dead. one is, though. Right. This could be it. There it is. Speed, uh, Super Akuma. Crazy Super Akuma. Putting speed kicks into the loser bracket. Wow, so Super Akuma moving on to winner's final. Boy, he has had a good weekend, Bubsy. And it's crazy because the, the, yesterday he was saying, oh, man, I mean, yeah. Very interesting. That is the matchup that need tends to go with when he plays against a Jin player uh, because Jin doesn't have a lot of high crushing options. He really has down four, down and that's four, it. Yeah, that's a lot of his other lows and moves, they're not high crush. So that Steve, Steve's highs are very, very dangerous. Back one, one, two, one. Um, so yeah, let's see how Cherry Berry Mango can deal with his matchup. Let's go. <laughs> that's how All he's right. going to deal with it. Just like that. Cool. Electric off the bat. All right, cool. Goes with a big boy combo. Yeah. Hey, hey. Look at the damage, Bubsy. 50%. It just you, just <laughs> <laughs> you said, how is he going to deal with it? Yeah, 50% at the beginning. Seven golden oh, letters. Right. There we go. Cherry Berry Mango. Seven golden. So that's that's funny. That's, this is the second match in the top um, winners fire side that started with a perfect. Perfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it didn't work out for speakers there afterwards. Uh. So let's see if the Roma are going to actually bring it back now. Let's go. Looking for those counter hits or those back ones. Beautiful. Yeah, so using that down four is a high crush. Great move to use versus Steve, but can't abuse it. Mm, definitely can't abuse that. And the forward four is a good move to use versus Steve as well. You want to stay out of Steve's you know, close range, but look at that counter hit. Should we've, take to the wall. We've seen it a lot with the forward four as a kind of like a bait tool. Where he doesn't transition. He just throws it out at a certain range and makes you press a button and yeah. whips. But a great read there from CBM on the down back 3-2 at the wall. Gets the round as well. Cherry Berry Mango. The clutchiness doesn't stop. Oh, four, four. This time it hits clean. Hey, hey. No count hit, though. Hey, you know what? Naroma, man. I, I believe in him. He can bring it back, but oh no. Commentator's curse, man. Yes, Do you know what? You I did that on purpose. That. I did that on purpose, guys, yeah? Clip that. No, I did that on purpose. Did it on purpose. I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Big count hit there from Naroma. Uh, good stuff. Hey, hey. Goes to the wall. Oh, wow. Where's that? He's not even. There's no wall there. There's a wall there, trust me. It's a little rock. <laughs> a little tiny rock, it's little pebble. A tiny rock, pebble, man. Oh, the whiff great. punish. That's a great. And that is a great new um, tool to Steve this season. That rage drive. Yeah. The range and the damage you can get off of that. Well, you've seen it. Look at the range there. It was able to punish and get a full launch. Yeah, exactly. Plus on block as well. But here comes that forward four counter hit. Yo. Yeah. The, the cherry. But we have to call that cherry berry mango special. That forward four on counter hit. Got to call it the babo, man. That means stupid in Korean. Babo. 
Yeah, I'm I, gonna I, call I, that the bubble. Yeah, we said that yesterday, but that's, that's offensive. It, 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 <laughs> you can't be calling people stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> hey, hey, there we go, Cherry Berry Mango. And do you know what he said to me? He said to me, Spat, I am known as bubble, as stupid, but today I make myself Gosu. Gosu. He is wanting to change himself from bubble to Gosu, which in Korean means like good, like, you know, great. Sick. Oh. Like, <laughs> sick. You know, the way you said it was just good. Like, 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 I, was like, bit, I know it's a bit anticlimactic. No, no, I was, I was building it up in like, good, great, sick. <laughs> Come on, man. It's good. And then I say, oh. So I wonder if he's going to continue with Steve. Uh -uh. We know he's got a plethora of characters. Hey, what? He's having around horror? Okay, whoa. He has a devil gin as well. So what is he going to do here? Because Steve is not a bad matchup. It's just, it's, I feel like CBM just outplayed him there. So what's he going to do here? Is he going to go to Jack, which is the character uh, he was known yeah. for? I want to see. I haven't actually seen a Jack this weekend. Have you not? Could no. he? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you just completely shut down. Yes, I did see a dirt this weekend. Yeah, Yo. It was good. But, but yeah, you know, he's still thinking about it. So right now, oh, he's gone to Dragonov. Dragonov. Yeah. Mm, okay, interesting. Well, yeah. Dragonov still, I feel, is a great character even in season two, even though he got a little bit of a nerf. A little, not, not a little bit, but. Yeah. The nerf a few things got nerfed, two. you know. Yeah. Down two is a pretty big nerf, but you got to play him a little bit I different. Can, now. I, actually, no, let's not call it Let's call it normalized. Normalized? Yeah, let's go with normalized. All right, cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Our F's with that, Bubsy. Yes, a little bit of a normalization. <laughs> so here we go. Can Naroma bring it back? Now he's locked in with Dragonov here. Winner bracket action. Winner semis to secure themselves a top three. Guaranteed. Let's go. Rocking that green for the jungle. Yeah, that camouflage, you know. Yeah, that's that's mean, cheeky. That's what I mean, in them settings. <laughs> Off to a quick start here. 50% already. Gets a counter hit on there. Okay, nice. Yeah, good punish. There we go. Oh, oh we found the forward four two. Big whiff. A nice duck there. Yep. Keeps a nice and simple crash cancels with the jab just to punish. Is that the first round for Naroma? Yeah, nice. I thought like it was 3 0 from CBM last match. So here I we go. 3 1. 3 1? Oh, okay, cool. I think. Okay, nice block. Yeah, and that's one thing that Dragonov has. He has a 12 frame while suddenly punish, which does a lot of damage. So some of these lows, which were actually seen as like relatively safe, are not so safe, but that one definitely yeah, isn't that, safe. That is a big way to launch punish all low. That's oh my god, see. Naroma! Okay, big wall spot. Okay, goes to the rage. Oh, what's he got here? What's he got here for us, Bubs? Okay, puts him to the wall. No punish on the get up kick. Right, no punish on the whiff, but oh. gets clipped by the second hit there. Yeah, so uh, a you little bit of nerf coming in there. Hit, you, you? you can, yeah, yeah you could have definitely got a launch there. Good break on the one plus two throw. Bar fight. Okay, nice. He stood up and blocked it up forward four from Dragon Off. Nice reaction. Uh huh. Okay. okay, no duck on the one one. It's cool though. Cherry, Cherry Berry Mango working his way back in. Okay, he's going to down two. Down, down two, two boy. Here we go, running two, got pressure. Nice duck. Interesting. Um, tried to hit him with that. That was the Tekken 6 online special. <laughs> I was there, back in Tekken 6, that was um, good oh, moves there. Oh, man. Instant duck into punish. This is going to be big boy damage. You'll take it to the wall. Are we going downstairs? Yes, we are. Oh, oh this, this may kill. Okay, oh. mate. Oh, that was meant to be a running two. Nice. The punish. Here we go. We have a set. That was. You, you say you definitely think that was a running yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. You actually get that a lot. So that that miss input when you try to go for running two. Ah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it looked so perfect like it was an actual fake. Because <laughs> it was spaced so perfectly, the button came out and it whiffed. See, Naroba just playing it off like that was on purpose. I like, yeah, played, no. I would have played it off. I'm just yeah, running two. Nah, 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 nah. No running two there. You don't know about this tech? Tech, bro. Ch overhead chop into whiff. <laughs> into whiff. <laughs> but here we go, guys. Violet Systems final match here. It's all to play for. You do not want to drop down into that loser bracket where we have some killers. Bro, everyone in losers is a killer. Like, literally, <laughs> literally. Chickering, me, Chanel, speed kicks. This match is the difference between winning this tournament and not winning, man. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Big car hit forward four at the beginning. Yep, take it to the wall. Nice. Nice. That was huge damage. 50% to start the um, yeah. match. Yeah, Jin has really good combos, man. Like, his damage is pretty high. Yeah, it's, it's especially it's when he gets the, loads, loads of his um, combos with the extension to the wall carry. They're so strong and they get the splats, you can actually get the down back 2 2. Yeah, exactly. But uh, Cherry Berry Mangan actually taking a big risk there with the health sweep. We've got Duck from Naroma. He's going to yes. get the combo because at the wall, the up forward four is a launcher. And they're not going to be dead, but it's been very close. Ooh. Ooh. That, was, that was a good bait. He's <gasps> ran in. But he's forward four he's baiting the whips. Oh I my god. Oh, the down forward one. And Naroma takes the lead in the set. Oh, there we yeah. go. Um, that was, it seems like Naroma had a good read on the first game to know that Dragonov was the answer. Well, yeah, but counter hit coming yeah, in there while standing three. So he's going to get to the wall. Eight, eight. Nice, going to get the down back two, two, three. Oh boy, he has a 
a good, nice lively here once again, but Naroma brought it back last time, the one plus two. And that was a reaction to the throw. Yeah. Very unfortunate there for Naroma. Mm -hmm. I guess very fortunate for CBM. Yeah. <laughs> Forward four coming in again, when in doubt, throw it out. Here we go. Naroma with a get up kick. Uh, okay, Nas is definitely going to go to the wall. Nice. Side wall splat, still converts it somehow. Yeah, nice little combo. Yeah, nice counter hit, one, two, one. Oh, catches him ducking. Nice. Oh. So he actually woke up like that because he thought the wild running two was coming and Naroma put the Tokyo Drift brakes on. Yo, Tokyo Drift, He's I wonder if you know. Here we go now, Naroma on set point, nice side step. Okay, 4-4 four, four again, looking for that counter hit. I want to see a final round here, boy. Get Bring it back, to. Cherry Brain Mango, the side stepping from Naroma right now, the Ooh. throw, UFC. That is the UFC takedown. Okay, didn't duck the second hit. Okay, this is it, man. Last chance here for Cherry Brain Mango. He needs to win this round. He's backing up. Okay, okay down to... I thought, okay, I thought that was going to be a counter hit. Yeah. Four, four he really again. wants that counter hit, man. He really wants it. You can see he's fishing for he's it. He's fishing, he's putting the bait out, trying to hook it. Trying to get something hooked there with the fourth four. Yeah. Again with the fourth four. Oh. Again, it's a power hit. This is going to go to the wall. Is it dead? No, he no. didn't get one black. The throw broken. I needs to be very careful. With the rage now. Rage drive needs to be very careful with the rage drive. Oh. Oh. Toe kick. No, the jab. There we go, ladies and lads. Final round here in this winner's semi finals. Do you think that was an intentional whiff punish? I don't know. <laughs> now, if it was, that would have been sick. Korea versus Japan. The hell sweep comes in. Hey, hey. Gonna have a huge life feed here. Tackles him to the floor. Is he gonna break it? Oh, the beat down into the armbar. Here we go. That Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, could have got the wall splat. Yeah, could have got <gasps> the wall splat. That's not gonna splat though. Catch a hit. Plus frames. Gets out of there. CPM. One hit away. There it is. Back to one. And Cherry Berry Mango has secured himself a spot in the winners. Finals. That is, that is a classic Jin round in the back two one. That movie is so good. It is, man. So, so good. Back what two is one. that? And this in Buck Geese, you know, we saw him uh, switch to his old main yesterday with Jin. He's gone with Steve. Steve, yes. Um, so, for you guys that didn't watch yesterday, he actually played Paul in the matchup and stayed with Paul, and it well, didn't work out. It, oh, didn't it was working. It was, <laughs> it was working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was working. I don't understand. It was working. He was abusing Death Fist because Geese has a hard time to punish it. Yeah, yeah. And it just seemed like, you know, it just, like I said before, an easy, a normal yeah. knee performance. But now here we go. Goes. This is the run back now. Again, another Japan versus Korea. Number one versus number one. The defending champion of the mix up, Rock Dragon's knee versus Chikurin. And we're going to be going to the Saudi Arabia stage. Yola Habibi, yes, salam. Let's go. I'm glad you actually remember that law. Yeah, he did win the mix up last year. Yeah. Yeah. The reigning champ. Yeah. Defending champion, like boy. It. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Howard. Oh, this is going to be hype. Now, the back one, he has to be very careful. Let's remember which character he won this uh, tournament with as well. It was Steve, remember? Versus Chanel. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> and Chanel is in the loser's bracket. He is. Yeah. We're going to be seeing him up next. Up next. Hey. See? Ah. Yeah. Okay, he gets that big Tinder swipe. Here we go. Gonna <laughs> the get the Tinder party. swipe. Yeah, it's going to have to be coined the Tinder swipe. He's going to get a party started. Hey, hey. Okay, uses that single Rapukin for the Okazemi. Nice down for two counter hit. Is he gonna get anything? No, he's not. Uh, that was a very um, fortunate trade for Chicker in there. Now he's just gonna. Okay, he just chops at the legs. So yeah, in that yeah. kind of situation when you're um, against Steve, you don't want to overexert at the end of the round because yeah. Steve is going to be looking for those big counter hits. Yeah, absolutely. We will get those names changed as well. There we go. Oof. Right on time. Here we go. Back 3 2. 8 8. He should hit this with the wall. Geese has great wall carry. I think, yeah, Geese, Geese fires the wall. We yeah. were saying it with, with Mark Man yesterday. Even on Wall Estates, he will find that wall. Yeah, he will, will find, find the wall in a, on the Wall Estates. He will. That's how much. Uh, that's how much carry he has. But nice low parry here from Nee. Yeah, there we go. Where's the massage? There we go. Oh, uh, doesn't finish it though. Doesn't, doesn't pay for the. You got to do it quite quickly, right? The massage. Uh, I, I don't really I have never really tried it. Yeah, but no. he didn't pay that full price. He didn't want that full body massage. Yeah, no, got no happy ending there for Nee, man. <laughs> <laughs> he only got them neck and shoulders. <laughs> Let's go. Uh huh. Oh, goes for the mid there. Okay, Rapukin. Throwing out that plasma. Yeah, Geese is a very scary character because he does have a lot of oh. mix-ups, but that rage drive is even scarier. Yeah, that's what I say. When Steve has that glowing red, you know what he's looking for. He's Ab looking for that punish. And he cannot whiff. Uh oh. Oh, nice block. Lee was absolutely ready for that. He gets get out of here. I One think round Lee piece. has tech. Like, you know, there's that um, kind of fuzzy guard. Yeah. Because I've seen him do it yesterday, like slight movements every time. So apparently, like, after you block quarter cool, cool, back two, if you do back back down, like in yeah. a certain pattern, it covers both options. Yeah. I'm definitely sure that Nee's got that on lock. Yeah, yeah. On total lockdown. He was definitely good at reacting to that. So there we go. Ten the rope dope. Ten count. Yeah, that was Ame Khan last night. Ame Khan, Khan right? low blow. <laughs> Getting punched up. <laughs> nice, there we go. Nee looking strong now. He's Steve, so strong. 
Jikarin, how's he going to answer back here? First game. Yeah. Well, we saw him answer back yesterday. I wonder if that's going to play in the back of Knee's head. Yeah, he has to finish it now. Yeah, he can't, he can't just leave it on the plate. Can't be passive, you know. Knee loves to be very patient with the life lead, but you've got to finish this guy, man. Nice duck. Yeah, he's got that duck. That's the second time he's ducked that. Mm -hmm. Chikori needs to know he can't test Knee's um, knowledge. Knee, yeah. <laughs> knee is knowledge. Knee is, knee is second, boy. Yeah. Okay, okay, backing out, just backdashing, nice! Backdashing out and getting out clean with punish, Sonic, and um, Sonic Fang, I'm yep. about to say Sonic Fox. Sonic Fang. Yeah, Sonic Fang, such a great whiff of punish. Yeah, so sidestepping that, nice break on the throw, he has rage. This is where he was last uh, yesterday as well, and Chipping managed to bring it back, can he do it again? Oh, no! Punch <laughs> parry! <laughs> Don't try that. That was sick! Yo, knee! Not being passive there at all with the laugh lead. He knew he needed to finish that quickly because Chikorin so dangerous. He was in that same position on the same stage yesterday. Was it the same? <coughs> same yeah. stage, everything. But this time, Ni nee saying, do you know what? I'm going to bring it back. Oh, look oh, at this. He no, no. He done it with the day. He just went straight to the Howard the State. Now, he, he needs to let the intro rock. He cannot not let the intro rock. Yeah, you, so you got to let the you intro rock. Geese. You picked the Howard the State. No one, no one, you can't, you can't. Yeah, yeah. The intro. Special intro here, man. Geese, yeah. this is the Mr. Howard. We're gonna see. Are we gonna be seeing some uh, bad boy combos here? Breaking all the walls, seeing some Sakura leaves. Yeah. It's 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 spring. Well, it's April, isn't it? So we should be seeing the the Sakura leaves out, man. Yeah. I'm not. Yes. I'm Let's go downstairs. Now. I want to see some Sakura leaves here. Second match here. Korea versus Japan. Uh, he did <laughs> let, let it rock. rock. He did let it rock. He knows. This is this is him powering up. I want. Yeah. Like, I want to see those big combos. I've seen the main man do those death combos. Yeah. Breaking all them Nasty, moves. bro. Yeah. I want to see a death combo. Let's go. Second game here. Knee versus Chikorin. Loser bracket action. The loser is going home. Oh, Ooh. just low parry like that. Okay. Dash up low parry. I like it. It's going like to go to the wall as well. Break the wall. This is nothing. Okay. Don't yes. break the wall. He wants to go to the second wall. He went that death combo from Steve. <laughs> yeah. He was messing around using those back threes. Trying to make some high. That's nice. A little side step to make the down jab with. But Chikorin does not have that bar to confirm that max, um, that back three into max mode. Yeah, definitely. And knee is, oh, nice. Using the mid again. Chikorin is mixing it up between highs and mids. Just runs into that big count hit. The Joe Frazier, the back one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and there we go. Hook. Yes. No, not the Joe Frazier. I'm going to call him the Mike Tyson. He had a mean left hook. Mike Tyson, man. Can you do a Mike Tyson impression? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to dead that dead. No. no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to try and troll Mike Tyson on a, on a stream. Shout out to Mike Tyson, man. That guy's like the scariest guy in the world. Who, who would want to fight Mike Tyson? If anyone in the world... Who, Have you seen who? that video of him recently? No. He's, he's still able to throw a punch, bro. I won't even try to fight him now. But look at his damage, though. Steve Fox, 8-8. Oh, there we go. Is this going to be a big way combo? He's going to break the wall? Yeah. Show me it. Go. Show me the money. Show me the money. Check her in. Oh, uh, oh close. Just a, little, just a little short there. Plus okay. frames. Yeah, big plus frames. Got to be careful because Chikorin, uh, his geese does have a parry as well. His parry is yes. very dangerous. Oh, yeah, that predictable. Mm -hmm. Geese does have rage, so he's going to have increased damage, but great with punish there from <gasps> Lee. <gasps> Whoa, nice punish as well, ducking that string. And Lee now on set point to eliminate Chikorin and get his revenge from yesterday. I wonder if Lee, do you think Lee probably went back and looked at that match, watched it, rewatched it back and saw me? What did I do wrong? Yeah, 100% 100, 100 for sure. And look at that block on the down four, staggered. Gets the wall, there we go, Masaji this time, yeah. happy ending, here we go. It goes to that low. Uh-huh. He doesn't go into max mode and gets it now. Big yeah. combo's gonna come up. Definitely gonna get to the wall, because Geese is he gonna get the wall? No way, way. no, oh my god. It's Geese, this guy always finds the wall. Wall to wall have. stuff here, ladies and lads. Chikorin now fighting back. No duck on the string here. Knee with rage. This is how it was yesterday. Knee was two rounds up, and then Chikorin just activated real life max mode. <laughs> Is he going to turn blue now? Check her in! Oh. Okay, no, just no, no, wait. <gasps> Went, jabbed him out of the range. Okay, max mode. Activated. You can go either way. 13 seconds left on the clock. The down board, two counter hit. A mini little pop up there from Knee as well. Taking out Japan's number one. He is out. Yeah, that was a um, pretty convincing from Knee as well. Definitely one that probably went back and was not happy about that defeat. Yeah. Saw that he's probably. Let's saying. see if. <laughs> let's see if low high can make Chanel change characters. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's even even Lohan went to law yesterday, innit? After He's pro all, that, all, that, all, all that talk. I, I yeah. want to be known as the Shaheen guy. Who's going to be the snake and change character here? Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Korea versus Korea. Lohan versus Chanel. I love that addition to um, Julia. The, is it the 4 4 2 3, that wall carry? 4 4 2 1. Oh, 4 4 2 it's, 1. It, yeah. Why do you love it? It's annoying. Well, it's annoying, but it's such a good wall carry. It's really good, but that's going to be launched all day, all night. Down 4-2. Here we go. Low high. 
with the Reju. Uh, sliding on her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Crunchy low. Okay, nice. Oh, it doesn't get a throw break. Uh huh. What's the okie dokie now? Oh, back four heavy. Got one more. He's gonna do it. Goes just... for the low. Those crunchy shoes. You have a pair of those? I do. Nice. Yeah, man. I just gave you some of them. Let's go. Okay, while standing free. Nice combo. Wow. Good stuff. That should get the wall. You know, Julia has great wall carry. Even that side wall splat still got a nice, decent conversion. Yeah, but this is where Lohai wants to be. Now just keep Chanel the wall. Nice. While standing 3 3. Doesn't hit, doesn't hit cleanly, though. He's be very careful. Oh, mixing up the slides. Oh, nice. But doesn't get a full combo for that. Yeah. Probably needs to do a full forward one in that situation, right? Mm hmm. A crouch cancel. He tried yeah. last and it didn't work last round. Here we go. Chanel now one hit away from evening up the round. There it uh, is, the elbow. That forward forward one, the classic Julia. Uh huh. Forward forward one. Such a great tool in Julia's uh, arsenal as well. But oh, throw not broken if yeah. low high. That's a, probably second one. Mm. No, no, actually, no. It wasn't. Low high throw breaking, normally really good, man. But maybe the sinus is uh, affecting him a little bit. Here's a half kick, though. Yes, that was a great good punish. Great sidestep on that. Uh huh. Uh, and we got big wall damage. Okay, mm. rolls back. He's still in the back position. <gasps> he needs to be very careful. Could have confirmed that. Could have confirmed that. Yeah, one push through again, not broken. That puts him to the wall. Here's the rage drive. What's the mix up? Okay, down forward one. Oh, no break! These throws ain't being broken. These throws ain't being broken. Yeah, maybe just nerves, you know, first game. Yeah, first game of the day on the top eight stage. Main stage here at the mix-up. Low high now, one round away from taking the first match. Can he do it, though? Nice. nice. So, like a little slight side set gets down 4-2. This is definitely going to go to the wall. We know he does huge damage. Oh, my God. What's the okie dokie here? Nice. Oh, the reaction. That was a great with punish. Beautiful. And the seven golden and letters as well. You nice. love to see it. There we go. Take a swig. Of that water, mate. What's Chanel gonna do? <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, it looks like he's gone to character select screen. I told you, Bubsy. Man, these, these pros ain't loyal. Pros ain't loyal. Let's see, no, no, maybe he's gonna stick to Julia. Yeah, yeah, man. Maybe he'll, I believe he's in not, him. I believe he's in not. him. He's gonna, oh, he went my back to his God. bad feet. He went back to his <laughs> bad feet, you know. You have to sometimes just go back. Man. You just gotta go back, go in back, it. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, man. Bubsy, you're naughty, man. <laughs> Don't be telling him about me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So he switches, make a switch to Elisa. He done that. He was playing Elisa quite a bit yesterday. Yeah, you know, when he lost the first match with Julia, he would go to Elisa and it happened yesterday. He just steamrolled when he chose it. It's clearly his best character. Yeah, no, The definitely. movement that Elisa has, her backdash is amazing, her sidestep's amazing. And Chanel utilizes both of those things really well. Definitely. So we're going to go up to... What's this stage called again? Uh, Brimstone and Fire? Brimstone and Fire. Brimstone and Fire. Fire. I called it a funny name last year. I can't remember what you it You call was. it all sorts of funny names all the time. Yeah. I can't keep track of all of them. <laughs> my, my stage naming is um, <laughs> Pat Four. Yeah. Okay. It just pops it down. The leg's big, but doesn't get the counter hit. Yeah, try to go for the full crack. But Chanel off to a quick start, though. By right, using that 1 plus 2 to get in. A great advantage in the launcher. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Bobsy. Yeah. I wonder I wonder why. Interesting. You've got Brickett. It, it might be. Oh, no confirm on the down back two. Here's the rage drive. What's the mix up? I like that. Uses the rage drive to get out of that situation. He was backed up. He was against the wall. And you know how he just, yep. you know, taking that. Yeah, down four. three, man. On hip. Into a mix up. Goes for the mid. Low high now. Needs oh. to bring it back. Doesn't duck that. Seems quite uncharacteristic from these guys. Yeah, yeah. Not playing their best at the moment, but still managing to clutch it out here. Chanel now poking away. Has the life lead here. Low high. How's he going to answer back? Great backdashing. You can see immediately the difference. But here's the wall standing too. I love that he stayed ducking out of range and made Chanel throw out button. This is going to go to the wall. It's going to be huge damage. Wall standing 3-3. Three, three. Look at that damage. And he's yep. got the wall pressure as well. He needs to be very careful because we know Shaheen, one wall splat is GG. No duck down the string. Okay, I like that. Uses that move, gets the positioning. Yeah, he has low height to the wall now. Yes. Uh oh. Gets that wall bounce. Yep. Yeah, Whoa, there go. that was sick. <gasps> but doesn't get a combo now. This is plus frames. Yep. I want. I wonder if people know that that's plus frames. I've seen a lot of people get hit after that. Yeah, maybe they're trying to move and it just ah, maybe yeah, tried to move there and yeah. it just didn't work. But the half kick comes in. There we go. We have transitioned to the uh, the floor. This wasn't Brimstone on the fire. This was Devil's Pit, man. See, I told you. Yeah, there uh, you go. My yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I put the whole chat on that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. We'll get that hate later. We'll get that hate, man. Okay, but Chanel now. Chainsaws are out. Looking to do some damage, man. To carve that. You know what? Bun your chainsaws, hop kick. Yeah, yeah you slide on her. Yes, yeah, surf on her, here we go. Need to be very careful, at least it does have that rage drive. It doesn't matter when you got no life. Yeah, exactly, there we go. Nice punish on the down 4-2 with low high. Still looking good, alive in the second match. Okay, nice, right standing four. 
Okay, using that downfall once to track that way, keeping the, um, Chanel nice and clean. Yeah, it's very, very hard to, to, to outpoke Chanel because he just backdashes all the time, right? So Lohai trying to find his way in here. He's doing a really good job at the moment. Down three. Not falling for the sidestep, down four, two. Nice. Oh, he doesn't get a punch on the hop kick. That is safe. That knee is safe. Yeah, and it is a big launch as well. Yeah. Just poking away, down back threes, down fours. Yeah, there hasn't been anything crazy big this round. He goes for a low again. Uh-huh, 30 seconds left on the clock. We're halfway through, look at these guys. Finding their way in, trying to find their timing. That was a big whiff, just ducking in his face. No buttons are bringing press. Every yeah. Just being so patient. No one wants to press those buttons. Uh-oh. And that's the big button in the rage. What's the mix up? He's ducking, he's ducking. Oh, the rage drive. Catches Chanel ducking and that is going to be Final round, here we go. Set point for low high to eliminate Rock Dragon Chanel. I love that mind game. He's just literally just ducking in his face, getting to see what Chanel gonna do. Are you gonna duck now? Are you yeah. gonna duck now? Such a perfect timing. Red when Chanel was okay, I'm gonna duck now. Yeah. But nice. Chanel fighting back. Now he's turned up the heat. Nice break there from low high. Slide mix up. Oh, nice, nice duck, but no launch. Could have launched that. Yeah, could have got that while standing. There's a while standing too. That yep. big elbow. Yeah, slide you into slide you. Okay, low high. Life was about even low high on match point here. Next launch is going to win here, man. This is all or nothing. Chanel plus frames. Plus frames. Hold oh. that plus frames. No break again on the 1 plus 2. What's the Oki? Back four. Oh, the punish. Big with punish and Chanel saves the match. It's very it's very strange that these guys are not breaking the throw. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Chanel's got up. He's, he has uh, a contention. But yeah, that was very interesting at the end there, you know. Uh, I saw it in my own eyes. Being detective. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna head to that abandoned temple. Let's go, let's go. One match apiece. Loser goes home. Mm hmm. Was it in seventh place, right? Yeah. yeah, seventh place, man. Still a good showing, but you don't wanna go home if you're either of these two guys. Let's get hyped, guys. Final match here. Shall I do the, the Ulsan when he gets hype? When he's on commentary, you know okay. what he does? What's he do? Boy, boy, boy! That's what he does. Boy, boy, boy! Let's go. Second, uh, third match here. Final match. Low high versus Chanel. So let's go. He starts off with down ball, just chipping away, chipping down. Okay, okay, now we get those throw breaks. Maybe Ooh, what did he do? Maybe he was his stick. Maybe, yeah, maybe one of the buttons was a little bit iffy. That yeah. was the first time I've seen the crowd pop off from a throw break. <laughs> <laughs> Big whiff, I like that. So he's very patient. Knew that the chainsaws were very active. Yeah. He waited his turn. Yeah, absolutely. But Chanel with a massive life lead here. Chanel, uh, low high, trying to fight his way back. The down four two just out of range. Here we go. That was a perfect duck on the wild running too. Uh huh. Here we go. Is this gonna? Is this gonna find the wall? E no. Nah, it doesn't find the wall. Just, just stuffs the rage drive there. None of that blue stuff. Nice. Here we go. Low high with perfect defense here. Takes the first round, and he was he had a massive life deficit there in that round as well. So good stuff. Makes a comeback. I haven't seen that back three plus four from Elisa forever. Yeah, <laughs> don't usually see that uh, that often. Yeah. Okay, nice. Kicks out football. Okay, down three. Again, a 50% lively. Can low high bring it back once again? Just chopping those lows. Chopping yeah. Up. Okay, nice. You're using a lot of homing. Move both these guys. Homing, <laughs> homing. Stop moving. And now of then, what, we're playing the 2D game. Of course, you know, of course, uh, Chanel does like to sidestep a lot. And low high, just trying to plant the seed early, saying, no sidestepping for you, man. We're playing that 2D game, well, man. Yeah, at least the sidestep is really good. So, yeah, just keep her honest. Yeah, keep absolutely. Keep on a straight plane. But, the sh but Chanel using that back one gets that round. Chainsaws are out now, ladies and lads. There we go, carving that Sunday dinner. I hope you lot are having a nice Sunday dinner. Happy Easter to all of you. Yeah. There we go. He's going to reach the wall. Huge damage. Okay, he doesn't get the full wall splat, though. Yeah. Okay. Once again, using that homing move. Good stuff here from Lohai. Great poking, right. but that's going to be huge damage. Here we go. Has the rage. Needs to be very careful with the rage drive. Goes to the down three. Oh, God. Here we go. Makes mix up, up time. One plus two, so I'm broken. Get off. Right. These guys are. Oh, gets a tail spin. And nice. Just keeps it nice and simple. Goes to the rage. Uh, wants to keep it nice and simple. Doesn't want to drop the combo. We've seen so many of those instances where you go for a combo, maybe the side will splat and you lose the round. So there we go. Now, set point for Lohai to eliminate Chanel. That's going to be punished. Good stuff yeah. from Lohai. Gets him with a while standing three, three. Perfect. Nice. Right, there we go. Brings out those chainsaws again. Backdashes out. Yeah, Puts gets out of there. It brings them out again. Yeah, the chainsaws have been finding a lot of success with the chainsaws, so they are out, man. He puts them back, though. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be punished. Here we go. Finally blocked it down three. Full combo. Not going to find the wall, but it's going to be very, very close. Yeah, puts um, Chanel in a very bad position. He's made mad comeback save from before, and though. Get, no, doesn't get a punish. There oh, it is. That's the 1-1. One, one. Didn't get the punish on that, but... Yeah. 
Doesn't matter, still manages to close it out. Yeah, good stuff from the UIU's Loha. He moves on in this loser bracket. Uh, unfortunate for Rockstra. Games and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, did Ferguson lose his first game? I might have been, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's that's it's just the level that has Tekken has come such a far way, let's just say that. Yeah. The level. We can say that. But right now, man, right now we have a crazy, level. crazy match here. Knee, Rocks Dragon's knee versus Koas. Noroma. Noroma. So we got, I'm guessing Knee's going with that. But you know what? I see these characters and I'm just like, who's picking who? Because they, everyone <laughs> just plays everyone these days. But Yeah, definitely. Oh, he's done a little sidestep. He's going to go for the big boy yeah. combo. Four, Trooper four, roll. Four. Oh, that's so much damage, man. Yes. It seems like everyone's starting the games with the 50% combos. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That wasn't even with the wall, though. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't get me started. Yeah, and I heard from Ryan Hart yesterday that he, talk, he was speaking to me. And he said that, you know, he wants to use Paul a lot more this season as well. I wonder why. I don't know, man. He just seems like he's a, he's a good character in general, right? He's hard hitting. He's good in tournament. You know, you can always make it come back whenever you like. Mate, that guy, we just called him the Mr. Efficient, bro. The when business got, man, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, when you got hair like that, you got to be efficient. <laughs> look at that hair. How's he look after that, man? I don't know, head and man. shoulders, because you're worth it. Nah, got? head and shoulders don't do that. You need some special stuff. <laughs> you need some, <laughs> you need special, some special stuff for that. Maybe I should try that for next um, next one, innit? Let's do it, man. Nice. Try Paul's haircut, man. Turn up to, turn up to the ting with uh, Paul's haircut. Maybe in Poland. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go. But Naroma making his way back into this, and here we go now. One round apiece, Naroma. Looking good. Yeah, definitely looking good. But Paul, like I said, always that combat character. You cannot leave Paul on raid. Yeah, one, just literally one hit away. Yeah. So many hits this guy does, and it hurts, man. Yeah. Gotta be on point. Okay, one, one, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, goes down two. He's spinning down two. Spinning, oh, he ain't got no shoes on, so why not? Down yeah, two why all not, day. Man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing it. Put some shoes on, bro. <laughs> Okay, while running two, using that plus frames, just hold them plus frames. Yeah, the down twos are definitely adding up now against uh, Knee. Yeah, I wonder when Knee's going to duck, because Paul has got a good punisher. He's got the while standing 3-2. Yeah, while standing 3-2, perfect. But here we got while standing 2 from Naroma. He should get the wall here. He might even be able to kill. Yeah, this hey. should be dead. No, oh, no, one pixel. Nice. I like that. It was very patient. Block. Sometimes in that kind of situation, people overexert themselves. Want to be too eager to go for the kill. Mm -hmm. Lovely patience there from Naroma. You Naroma. love to see it. Naroma now. Imagine he eliminates me, man. The defending champion here at the mix-up. There you go. Death Fist. Oh, uh -oh. catches him in the back. You know, there's a lot more to this match as well. Japan versus Korea, man. That rivalry. But here we go. Bar fight. Doesn't want any of it. There plus frames. Hold them. Plus frames. Just disrespectful. Down forward too. Such yep. a good move from Paul. Is safe. And it high crushes. Yeah. You know, on certain frames. Yeah. yeah it does. Oh, there we go. That. Nah, see, nah. Bubsy, what happened, innit? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta listen to me sometimes. Sometimes I'm right. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes you get that move when you're trying to go for running too. Nah. He went for that bait again. He went for the bait again. Trust you're me. crazy, bro. <laughs> but here we go. Knee now. Final round. Oh, he's got got him at the wall. Yeah, you know what happens with Paul back. Ooh, oh, oh, I knew exactly oh, when, it, when he whiffed. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no. Bro, that was three hits. That, that hurt me. I'm, I'm crunched. Yes. I feel like I just done abs. I oh. feel like I feel like Ame Khan Rain. against Crawford. Pissing look. blood. What's that happen? Yeah, apparently. Oh, God. Well, he said he, he said he did. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's not the best situation. <laughs> but either way, if you're knee, you're loving it. 1-0 up against Naroma and... Getting to see now that he's actually picking stage. He's looking at which stage he wants to pick. And uh, that is a new rule here in Tekken World Tour 2019. You can pick stage. I wonder oh, where he's going to go. Look at him. He's thinking hard. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Maybe he just likes the music. I don't know. I mean, yeah. yeah, sometimes music powers you up. I guess so. Yeah, I know. So it powers Tasty Steve up. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> it definitely powers any. <laughs> I think it's any track that powers him up. A every track. I love this song, man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to Tasty. <laughs> he was here last year, had to mix up yeah. as well. Definitely enjoyed himself Hopefully at Lyon. we get to see him later on sometime. Of course, man. Of course yeah. we're going to see that guy, man. Here we go. We're going to the Mishima building. Uh, 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 uh. I love this song. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. He starts off with a down one. That's such a good move from Paul. Got such great range as well. Yeah, it's, it's a nice. great like keep out too, like a shut up move yeah, to stop. Just, just, just shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> there we go. The Naroma no taking it to the wall. Gonna get, not gonna get a clean wall splat though. Well, could have ducked that. Cracks and from Lee. Okay. I love that homie move. Oh my god, great conversion from Lee using that death fist. There's so much damage. Ah. Oh. No, you're not gonna hit Lee with that. No, you're not. Down back freeze. Great Ooh. reactions from Lee. There we go. Taking the first round, second game. Looking to eliminate Naroma. This is loser's bracket, by the way, guys. I'm going to call it, right? When, it gets, when the track changes and it gets more hype, it's going to power Naroma up. Okay. That's, we'll that's why he chose the song. He's, he's, he's just waiting for that, the transition. Trust me. Okay, okay. 
The last landing three doesn't doesn't convert. Yeah, both guys are chopping each other away right now. Going for generic down fours. Just little little things for from Neek. Yeah, just they're playing at such a range. It's in each other's face. Just slow pulse. Okay, headlock. Yeah, know. counter hit. That's that playground bully lock. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh win. no! Probably could have killed that. Here we go. Plus range mix up and again. Hold the robot. Hold and them plus range. Hold them plus range. We're gonna do Cole. Oh, a big whiff. whiff. Doesn't go for ah. bigger punish and oh. gonna catch it. Good stuff there from Naroma, clutching it, man. Clutching it. Nice. nice. Okay, gets a little mini combo off of that. Yeah, guaranteed combo. Down two, chopping away. Once again, nice counter hit. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Demo man. Demo Use man. the blues box as well. Here we go. Pushing towards the wall. I sense a death fist coming. Yeah. I sense it. Any whiff, and you know Knee's gonna be ready with that death fist, man. You're down to just chopping it in. Ooh, catch him floating, so it's not gonna be full damage. But it might be dead with the walls. Yeah, that's gonna be definitely yeah. dead. That is D E D dead. That is D E D, forget the A. Oh, uh, here we go. This is where, this is where Bubsy said that Norum is gonna power up. Norum's gonna power up. This is why he chose this stage. It has to be the music. He doesn't realize he's actually just commentator cursed Naroma. Now, Knee's gonna nah. win. Watch. Actually, nah, wait. Did see, I just look, he just. Did he? He blocked. He blocked the demo, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It. I think I just commentated cursed Knee. Oh, damn. So you commentated oh, cursed the commentator cursed. Oh, no. This is Knee, bring saying. it back. So it's back. You commentate a curse, no, commentate no, a curse. No, 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 you didn't. I, that was me. Everything I said comes. To, we, we've had this <sighs> conversation. Everything I say comes to pass. Okay, final round here. Second game. Okay, down twos. Okay. A nice. I love that move from Paul. Paul's quarter pull back four is such a great move. Yeah. Home in. High. Yeah. And it's safe. Oh, no, safe and plus. Plus, plus, yeah. plus, plus one. Yeah. Counter hit launcher, really, really good. But Knee trying to work his way back in here with his pokes. Paul has got really, really good pokes. But Naroma still using those down twos, being really pesky. Ooh, had a big duck there, but doesn't convert. Doesn't get the combo. Oh, no, he tried to go for one. Yes. Three, two. Definitely did try. Here we go. Hold on plus frames, backing off, seeing what Knee's going to do. Yeah. Just putting him under a little bit of pressure. Down two. Just chopping away at him. Oh, no. Here we go. <gasps> there we go. Two. Now, Spag. Spag. Look at this guy, man. What? No, no, no. This no, guy's smiling. Yeah, Spag, what did I say? I don't know. I don't remember what you said. I'm telling you. I don't remember what you said. <laughs> no, no, no. He's picked this stage because the music, when did the transition happen, <laughs> the Romo was going to come back. Ah, but you know what? Yeah, do you know what? Knee picked Mishima Dojo. He picked him, maybe that music powers him up. I don't know. You're going to make that's the call? That's are you, 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 you going to make the call? Yeah. You're going to make, make the call? I'll make the call. Knee's going to uh, bust I him up. I don't now. believe Watch. your calls. No, nah, Knee's going to win. No, you, 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 you need to be more confident in your call. I was confident. No, I I'm said confident. It. How am I not confident? Knee is going to win. Okay, we'll see. What do you think? You think Romo's got this? I don't know. Oh, see, you, can't, you <laughs> tell me I've got to be confident, yeah? Now you're like, I don't know. Ladies and lads, final match here, loser bracket action. The loser of this match is going home. Korea crazy. versus Japan. It's crazy to think he could actually be going out at this stage. Even Naroma, like, what two amazing beasts in Tekken. There we are, this is going to go to the wall. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the wall spat, but in, just while standing too, just, yeah. you know, I expect him. Sometimes you just got to throw it out, yeah, man. Sometimes. Sometimes these buttons are, you know, the defensive buttons. Yeah, yeah. Oh and man, Naroma. Him over. Naroma looking really strong. Definitely, definitely. Takes the lead in this set now. Knee on the back foot. Can he bring it back though? Still looking really good head. Finally, an answer to that down two chop. Yeah, no, um, Naroma was really chopping away with the down twos. Yeah. It was like a real fawn. Big count hit there. Okay, uses the two throw, probably just for um, position change. Yeah, but Knee still manages to sidestep him, his way out of there. Oh no, presses buttons, plus frames here for Naroma. He's down looking two. really good here. Down two again. These down twos are really a thorn in Knee. Yeah, for sure. It seems like the Naroma's got such a perfect timing with them. Knee's having trouble defending against this. It's, but yeah, it's all or nothing now for Knee. He needs three rounds straight to stay alive in this tournament. Naroma looking to finish it here. Here we go. That's nice. Oh, great read. He's going to get a small splat. Yeah, side wall, still get something down to nice Oki. Knee on the back foot, facing adversity. He has rage, what can he do? No punish on the shoulder. There we go, down for two. This is going to be big boy damage. Yes, okay, go to the, go, go, uh, uh, look at the damage. Woo. Oh okay. boy, Dead. knee still in it, knee still in it. The tackle, broken. Let's give the R4-4. Oh my God. Death is a no punish. He could have got a big punish, great throw break. Down two again. He's be very careful. There it is. Wow. The wild standing four. four and Brox Dragon's knee has been eliminated from the mix up 2019. Handshakes all around. But wow, what a set. Wow, knee is out. Knee is out. I don't think I've seen these two play before. I, that, I was literally trying to think back to think, when have I, I have seen these two play? And I don't think yeah. so. Do you think speed kicks or his notepad yesterday would have written notes for 
you know, or even study. He must have been studying. Well, East. Lo he has been in Europe for, yeah. uh, for a pretty long time, man. So he's so gone with Miguel. Yeah, and he used Miguel versus Guni yesterday Gunny. very successfully. And, you know, when I asked him why he used it, he said it wasn't more. It wasn't much of a matchup thing. More, It was more of a player thing. So he might have an idea here of what he wants to do versus Lohai. Let's go USA versus Korea in this top eight at the mixer. First master event. Let's go. So I wonder why. So like you said, so he picked um, Miguel yesterday for the specific player. So yes. I wonder what he's seen in Lohai. Maybe that's similar to Gunny. Well, let's talk about Miguel as a character, right? Miguel as a character is pretty interesting because he has a really good stance in that Savage stance. He can yes. put you into mix-ups, can put you into a blender. Um, his mids track one way, his lows track the other way. He's kind of like a walking 50-50 almost. Yes. But, but right uh, now, Lohai not having any of it. It looks like that 50-50 that is uh, more 0 100 in <laughs> zero hundred boy. Zero hundred in Shaheen's favor. Yeah. Yeah, just dash in his face, nice slow pokes. Uh huh. Ooh, could have um, let it rip. Yeah, that's one thing that Lohai loves to do. He loves to sit and try to catch your timing, use that down forward two to make you run into it. Spear kicks, though, his whiff punishment is not to be tested. Good stuff. Doesn't get a great combo, but still gets well, something. It was, a, it was a conversion. He probably wasn't sure with, you know, the I I angle that yeah, he yeah. had that. I know Miguel, some of his combos are a bit weird off axis. Nice. Oh, nice hop kick. Here we go. Speed kicks. Wasn't taking any of that slide you mix up. Just yeah. wanted to get airborne. So even if he got launched, he, you know, yeah. he would have just been floated. That For sure. Good, that was a good um, read there from Speed kicks. Good reaction. And good reactions, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So one round of peace right now, but low high answering back here. 30%. Wow, wow, Savage down forward. So he was ready for that. That was a big whiff punish as well. Ugh. Look at this right now for Speed Kicks playing so well. I just had that. The positions have changed. Speed Kicks back against the wall. Needs to be very careful. We see Shaheen's wall splat damage. Yeah. Momentum is shifting all the time. Nice side step down forward too. Low high. That wow, it's amazing. Yep, yeah, that's definitely going to be the round. He's got that championship URU cloth on as well. Mm. You love it. That gold, black and gold. Oh, nice step. Now, that's the way you really kind of want to step Miguel. Yeah. His, his mids, you want to step that left. Yeah, a lot of his mids, uh, they don't track to if you sidestep left. So, yeah, using his movement very, very well. Look at his poking away. Just being really annoying right now. Low high. <laughs> I like that being very annoying. Yeah. Down forward one. Mm -hmm. Plus frames here for speed kicks. Hold him plus frames. Yeah, just poking away low high. Not done anything crazy. Just been really annoying with his pokes. It seems to be very poke heavy. Well, both these characters, I guess, are quite poke heavy. Yeah. They have good pokes. They do. Oh, whilst that two, not punished, not launched by uh, Speed Kicks. Okay, plus frames, hold it. And a oh. nice, nice sidestep left there. Speak. Yeah. No high does have familiarity with Miguel, knows when to step. Yeah, but the sidestep into reaction, into mm. down forward two launch. I mean, it's just a great movement there from Speed Kicks. He's reeled back in his chair. You can see he's, do, he's got that little ch uh, hand to chin thing that he does. Yeah. Is he going to take off the mask? Is he going to go. Uh, Second form. Well, it, it seems like the mistakes that he made was he was putting out buttons and low high was reading when, like, you know, the downfall one, when he wanted to use that downfall one and was able to step it. And I think he launched it quite a few times. He did, he did. Yeah. So I wonder if he has to probably, if he's going to go back with Miguel, think about, okay, when I'm going to press that downfall one, I need to change the timing there. There was not a lot of homing move used by Miguel. He does have a good homing move. So, so. The thing is, so in that kind of situation, I used to play Miguel. And yeah. if you know they want to step that way, down forward four. The yeah, knee. down forward four knee. Yeah. What did we see? Did he go to Hawaran? Because it looks like the, the, the crowd is getting a little bit hype here. Has he gone back to his main character? Yeah, sometimes you just have to go back, man. S sometimes <laughs> you just have to go back sometimes, man. Sometimes you just gotta go back. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> has he gone to it? Yes, he has. Oh my god, there we go. Huarong versus Shaheen. And you know what? The crowd loves that. Yeah, I was about to say the crowd, we, you know, people who speak kicks is known for Horang. I feel that's, you know, Horang really kind of put him out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So here we go. Second game now. Can speak kicks bring it back? He's in the loser's bracket. He definitely wants to continue on here. Nice. Good break. Yes. Speak is definitely got those break. Okay, that's a nice punish. Yeah, and sometimes it's good just to go back to the character that you're that you're most that you've been playing the most because you're just comfortable, right? Yeah. You know all, all the about, situations. Yeah, it's definitely all about being comfortable. Yeah. Trying to put low height into the blender. He puts a quick stop to it, that's all guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Off counter hit. Yep. Just dance back and forth. In that spacing game, okay, falls. Oh, gets a counter hit, doesn't reflect respect yeah. those plus frames. And this should be dead if he gets the wall. 8-8. Eight, eight. Now we go back didn't, four. Didn't go for the A A A A. He didn't go for the A A A A, just for the A A. Yeah. Like it. Here we go. Low high on the board now. One round. Nice low parry spear kicks. Here we go. This should, if this goes to the wall, we know the damage that um, <laughs> spear kicks um, does. Oh, uh, look at that. Horang. Big he damage to the wall. Yeah, definitely. Let me go. Side step forward. The blender has started. Here's the sweet bang. Oh, 
Oh, the hop kick. This is not where you want to be if you're speaking, but he has a massive life lead. Still not dangerous for him. He can still close it out. Here we go. Low high. Looking for a whiff. Looking I, for anything to punish. I like that speaking. He's being very patient, not fighting when um, Low High's ducking in his face. No, good break there. speaker has been on point with the throw breaking. Speaker's playing very defensive. Nice. I, lo I love the patience from Speaker. So Low High was ducking in his face, trying to get a reaction from Speaker. Wanting him to duck. Yeah. That just shows Speaker's experience. He knows what he's looking. He knows what Low High is looking for. Yeah. Doesn't want to give it to him. But right now, Low High being a bit more offensive now. Already taking fifty percent off. How can Speaker's answer back? He can take him to the wall, trying to push him there. Low High still poking away though. He's pushing there with that big spark. Kick. Oof. Ooh, power oh, pass. Oh, cancels it, but lost a lot of damage. Yeah, man. He could have just let it rip. But here's a sweet bang. Do it again. Do it again. Do oh, it again. he went for the mid. Here we go. Oh, side wall splat oh, saves him. Side wall splat saves Ooh. us. As Bubsy says, blue sparks. Good break on the one plus two. He has rage. What's he going to do? Oh, down for two. <gasps> good duck. Stand up. No. Doesn't get the punish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the down forward one. You hate to see it. He ducked the string. He tried to punish, but it was just a little bit too slow. And low high now on set point. I really hope that doesn't like, play in the back of Speed Kick's mind. He needs to get rid of it immediately and go in with the blender. Here we go, Speed Kick's though. Yeah, Trying. That was, that was Speed Kick's round there. It was, it, it was. was. a little bit too slow. But like I said, I hope it doesn't affect him. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mix up time. Goes for the uh, the mid. Good that, punish from low high. That was an excellent punish. Okay, playing that spacing game. Seeing that range, no one wants to overexert themselves. Yeah. Speaker looking for an opportunity here to punish low high, but low high being too solid. Nice duck. Stays ducking as well to duck the high. No flamingo mix up for you today. Yeah. Just stay staying at that range. No one really wants to overexert. And just as I said that, the big foot comes out. Nice. Spartan big. kick. Yeah, Spartan. There you go. He's in the blender. Mix there we up. go. Here we go. Speed kicks. Oh, nice. Now, I think that move, if you try to punish it it's and not, he does the yeah. extension, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit. That yeah. down back four into, into starters, actually, you have to down jab, I think. Mm. Speaker's now in the driver's seat. Big whip, but no punish. Oh, he he let low high off there. Yeah, he could have got a big back three there. He knows it as well. He knows it. It's going to go to the wall. This is going to be in a very bad oh, position man. for Speaker. Oh, no. And gets the dirty, Damn. dirty, and that's going to be it. Yes. Good stuff. A little mini pop off there from Low Eye as well. He knows. Good stuff there. I don't know if that was guaranteed. Um, maybe, it, I don't know, but I, either way. I'm, I'm going to say it was. Yeah, I'm man. sure Low High wouldn't have gone for anything too dangerous in that situation. Yeah, for sure. In place. Yeah. Not going to see anything different here. It was always going to be Akuma versus Jin. Okay, we're going to Violet Systems. So we've got a crowd. <laughs> I'm sure you lot can hear it. Loads <laughs> of Ale, Ale. Ale, Ale, Ale. C'est magnifique, c'est. Pas des problèmes, c'est facile, let's go! Oh! Ooh, just anti like that, yeah. That okay. was sick. <laughs> I almost got hyped there. If you got a combo there, that would have been sounding really good. There you go. Goes to the down four. So I wonder how much Cherry Ben Marango knows how to fight against the Kuba. Does he have any technology? Any, you know, Windows nice. 12. That real new technology. But any old, he's going to go to the wall. Good wall carry. Oh, tries to go for the cheeky from Marge. Ooh, gets Ooh. Okay, nice. Well, that's very interesting because he went for the option that beats jabs, but. It didn't work. I guess maybe it been a, a little access thing. I go to the sweep of his own. He ain't gonna sweep me. Hey, there hey. Go. Nice. Cherry Berry Mango with the first round here. Silences the crowd. Korea. Nah, you say silences the crowd, but as soon as Super Akuma gets that hit, you know what's gonna happen. Here we go. Starts off with a nice, healthy life lead. Got Super Akuma's back against the wall. Gets nice. The confirm. Confirmed. Yes, very nice. Confirmed. A work. big chunky damage there as well. He's working on a perfect. He's working on seven gold and left it off. Is he gonna get it? Oh! Oh, right. no, he's well, not. He got a trade. That's quite unfortunate. That's a ghetto perfect, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, it was a trade. Yeah, ghetto perfect. Nice forward four. Oh! Just put that down. No, that is a cold part. There we go. Uh oh. Big damage is going to be. We see Super Akuma. Yeah, oh, 95%. Hey, hey, hey. He's still got one bar of meter. What's it going to be? Nice. Okay, Woo! gets the count here, and this is going to be the round. Nice. There we go. Ale, ale, ale. Super Akuma. I told Super. you. Super. The crowd was quiet then, but as soon as Super Akuma launched and um, got that hit, yeah. he saw the FADC. Oh my god, what happened there? Uh, back to get someone needs to be very careful. Yes. Tries to get that jump. It does have two bars. Cherry Bear Mango needs to be very careful, gets a float. He will get the wall splat here. No, no, he doesn't. Oh! Oh, I, I reckon that was a setup, mate. Cross up tattoo. Oh, what was that? Oh, god, is this infinite? <laughs> Nice block, nice block in the defense from a Cherry Berry Mango. Two oh. bars of meter gone, but goes for the slide. Here we go. <gasps> oh, I think he tried to go for a re-wall splat there. Yeah. 
Still able to win here. Cherry Berry Mango, he has read you. There you go, she's in that forward four, the toll punt. Oh, oh. Is he going to take it a final round? Super Kuma not overextending, waiting for his opportunity to strike. Here comes the rage drive, wants to mix up. Here we go. Okay. Oh, one plus two throw broken. Get off me. <gasps> That's oh. big. Yeah. Do you nice. know how to say get off me in, fr in French? Degage. Degage. You've been learning, bro. Yeah, I like, boy. I like it. I like De it. Degage. Okay, electric Final block. round here. Get this first, first game so pivotal. Just get someone in the driving seat, make them feel a little bit more comfortable. And he's got him in the corner, corner. Bubsy. This is not where you want to be. In the corner. But he does have that teleport option. Uh huh. He Goes for the sweep. Okay, backing out. A lot of flipping around. Ooh. Flippy floppies. <laughs> Wait oh. for the forward forward. That's going to be a clean wall. About this might be dead as well. No, one hit away. Okay, toe kick. But still in a very bad position. But that's a oh, great nice. down four. That would yeah. be so scary because Super Creeper had the bar. He had a bar. And he said it. One clean hit. One clean hit, yeah, and definitely. He had rage. Ugh. Ugh, you never know, Rocky. Like You've seen these guys yesterday. If you guys were watching, you can see the combos. But you know what? Super Kuma going straight back in with a rematch. He doesn't want to change stage here. Keep the momentum because it was a close game. Yeah. CBM right now 1 0 up in this first of three winners' finals. Second match. We're straight back in. Cherry Bay and Mango, so good at positioning those forward fours. Yeah. He doesn't whiff them, very rarely. And yeah, even if he does, like, it, the, the, it's, it's, it's hard. The timing is really weird. Yeah. So people are not ready for it. Gets that counter hit. He's just so good at getting the counter hit with the forward four. Yeah. Here we go. Go, go to the wall. Hey, hey, Big hey. damage, 50%. The life bars are about even. Ooh, man, big whiff there from uh, Cherry Berry Mango. Super Kuma not whiff punishing. Nice. And this could potentially be oh, a side no. wall splat. Wow. And oh, goes for the slide. For the slide. Bringing out the other demon, demon flip options. Yes. Don't we see the slide too, um, too much. Yeah, right? definitely mixing up. And Super Kuma is one of those guys, even if you know how to play against the matchup, he will mix it up. He knows how to beat people who well, know the matchup. We, we are at the mix up. <laughs> yeah, pun. boy. That pun's out here. That's the one today. Here that pun's, yeah. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Ale, ale, ale. Nice duck there from Cherry Berry Mangan. A brilliant float from Demon Flip. No, I noticed he used the two jab there to float him. Yeah. I wonder if he's got a bigger hurt box, maybe. He might do, but he gets a wall splat hit. Is this going to be dead? No, one hit away. Goes for the mid option. That is safe. Yeah, only if he does it from the down forward one. So yeah. It becomes punishable. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, one forward four. Car hit. It's going to oh be. Oh, my God. Wrong. This might be dead, Bubsy. This might be dead. Rage Art. <gasps> did he dash in enough? I don't think he's going to hit. He didn't dash in enough. But, but forward four. Okay, use the fireball just to get some breathing space. Oh okay. my god. No, he needs to be very careful. Oh my god. He needs to be very careful. 4 4 2 from Jin. Probably will catch him if he throws a bad fireball. Oh my god! Oh, Super Kuma head in hands right now. It's Cherry Berry Mango showing how clutch he is. When, when um, Cherry Berry Mango with the um, Rage Art, did he try to do a get up kick? I don't know. Oh, I think he might have been too far. Might be too late, maybe. Nice, forward, four heavy, goes for the hell sweep, mix up. Super Kuma not happy about that one, actually. Yeah, well, it was in his hands, really. A heavy go, gets yeah. the dragon punch. You gotta believe in yourself, man. Nice, catches CBM ducking, bubble, bubble. Is this gonna, he's not gonna go to the walls, he's gonna go get some mix up, some Oki, and that's gonna be Nice, the nice, that was just in clean hit range there for Super Kuma. Now has an opportunity to even up the set. Nice, oh. delays the actual hit, that's yes. what he's so good at doing. Yeah, reading the timing, knowing you want to press a button again, that can't hit. You, Ooh. May, you may think you have answers for the leave it. He's going to clean hit, he's going to get a wall splat. Uh, Big damage. What's the okie dokie? Uh oh, he puts himself to the wards. CBM could potentially make a comeback here. No duck in the string. Here we go. Nice duck again. CBM, great defense. But Super Okie, we're working on a perfect hit. Oh. Be so relentless. Oh, ho -ho! a mini pop off there. The crowd is loving it. Seven golden letters for Super Akuma. Super Kuma was so relentless at the end of the round, he didn't want to let go. He knew that he smoked blood. CBM was on the back foot there and literally just kept on plugging and plugging and plugging away at him Yeah, and got that perfect. I love this rule. I love the rule they can just go straight back in because the action ain't stopping. They want to keep this momentum riding. Let's go. Yes, Super Kuma definitely wants to ride off the momentum, ride off the crowd as well, but forward four is a great way to stop that. Yeah, when in doubt, throw it out. There go. Look at the damage. Oh why? my God. Why did that all hit? I don't know. <laughs> why? Okay, CBM is actually whiffing uh, a lot of um, forward fours in range for Super Kuma, but Super Kuma needs to be a bit better with his whiff punishment. Got plus frames. Yep. Okay. Ooh, oh, wow! That was a sick whiff punish. Great from Super Kuma. And brilliant sidestep left there from CBM as well to make the demon flip move. Uh, whiff, and there is the forward four. Two. Yeah. What's that called? Demon paw? Demon paw, yeah. Demon paw. That's probably like the one of the only things. Um, Moves you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, like Kaylin Trench, he knows all the names. <laughs> he's a Yoshi player. He knows. He's the Yoshi Those weirdo Yoshi mains, man. <laughs> Was it the Yoshi Mitsu Freestyle theme? 
That's another day. That's yeah, another we'll day. talk about that another day. CBM now with a massive lifey. Nice sidestep again, but the punish. Not there for Super Akuma. He has rage now, and he's got a bar of meters uh, to work with as well. We've seen how dangerous Super Akuma can be in rage with the bar. This was like yesterday. You saw uh -oh. what happened yesterday. Uh -oh. You saw what happened yesterday. He won't get the wall here, though. Are you oh, Willie. Sure? Are you oh, sure? Willie. Oh, my God. No. Oh, just a little bit short. Nice. And that's so, you know, we, everyone saw what happened yesterday. Yeah. The crowd is getting very, very rowdy now. They're getting loud. Hey, 1-1 one, one jab. Here we go. This, this should go to the wall. Hey, 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 hey. He there is in go. the corner now. Not where you want to be if you're CBM. Not versus Akuma. Still hasn't got a bar of meter to work with. Nice punish there. Hey, hey. TBM has turned the tides around. He needs to be very careful. His back is against the wall. Super Akuma needs to find his way out from this corner. He's really trapped here. Big whiff. Okay. Tries to demon flip his way out. Okay. Chases his fireball down. Great uh -oh. step there from CBM. Punish that. One, two. Nice. And there it is. And the toe punt. Just forward four ending it. Brilliant stuff there from CBM. He's one match away, Bubsy. One match away from securing himself at least second place and being in a great position to win this. He's loving it. That's what it's all about. The crowd is getting loud, supporting their hometown hero. He's gone straight back in with the rematch. Can we get a final match here, Bubsy? I hope so. I hope so too. I hope so. I really hope so. Ali, Ali, Ali. Let's go. Oh, you can see the crowd getting behind. Yeah. Trying to give me that spirit bomb power. Yeah, boy. The hands are up in the air. Yeah, all the hands are up. I wonder if they can hear. They must be able to pick up that. I hope that so. Chant. Crowd there is hype. Oh, gets a demon flip throw this time. Haven't seen that all set, but the yeah. forward four comes in. Nice. Wow, made that, a win. Yeah, great reaction there from Super Akuma. He's going to go to the wall, get the high wall splat. Here we go. Big damage. Hey, hey. Uh oh, he tried to go for the cheekiness. Oh, but Cherry Mango answering back now. He didn't need to do it. Yeah. Just a little bit too eager there. Should have gone for the damage, maybe. But great stuff from CBM. Oh, my dead. God at perfect range to make that hell sweep whip. And that's what he's so good at doing. That's what is under that's underrated about Super Akuma is that he punishes so well. Yeah, and he's, he's at a great range as well because that, that's not the first time that's happened. He's made the hell sweep whip. Yeah. But now just in his face. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Big drops the combo though. That was a big drop. But he's Duck. in a good... Ah, oh, okay. Ducks that string. Yep, CBM on point as ever. Ducking the 4-3. Nice! Oh, he could have actually got a kick there to float him. The crowd knows it as well. Super Kuma. Opportunity dropped there twice. Now here comes the wall bounce season two, baby. Here we go. Hey, hey. Big boy damage. He has rage. Now what's he going to do? Down jab. Nice punish from CBM. Yeah, CBM was just very, very patient. Didn't overexert himself. Wait for Super Kuma to just hang himself. Yeah, I mean, your Super Kuma had a great start to that last round as well. I mean, he should be finishing these rounds, man. But he's he's messing up in certain situations with his old keeper. The Hoppy comes in here from Cherry Berry Mango. He's going to get the big wall spot. He's going to do huge damage. Put Super Kuma in a bad position. He's got two bars of soap. How's he going to use it? Yeah, super, uh, Cherry Berry Mango needs to be careful with the EXDP. The right. healthy. He doesn't care right now. He sees the light at the end of the tunnel. He sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Here we go, though. Super Kuma with rage and two bars of meter. One spent. Okay. Ooh, down three. Knew he wasn't in clean hit range, so didn't cancel, but... Yep, here we go now. Cherry Berry Mango on set point to move in to Grand Finals, but Super Akuma has something to say about that. That was a great block of the health team. He's going to go to the wall. Yep, here we go. Wall splat. He's going to get the party side. Goes for the damage this time. Ali, Ali. Big Good nice punish. punish. Knew he wasn't going to finish it. Yes, if he had finished it, though, he would have got counter hit. Yep, a great read from Cherry Berry Mango. Yes. Staying so calm and collected in these clutch situations. Okay, using that 1-1 one, one jab, 1-1. One, one. Trying to confirm it into something. He has two bars of meter now. This is where you want to be if you're Super Kuma. But Cherry Berry Mango, though, still out there with the forward fours, forward fours, all day, all night, sir. Super Akuma is... Oh, Woo, that was sick. out of the end. Okay. Last chance saloon here for Super Akuma. That goes for the sweep. Okay, chases down the fireball, keeps yeah. it safe. Great duck. Now, that's both meters spent now. Not where you want to be if you're Super Akuma. Big whiff, no punish. Tries to punish, punish with the forward four. Oh! oh. Okay, one, two, punish. What's he gonna do? He's gonna back up. He's backing up five seconds there. Four. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Great jump back, three. Oh, my God. Oh, the timeout. Here we go. Final round. That was a great time as time technique there. You love it. Super Akuma. Che Bray Mango, though, he's still on set point here. He knows he only needs one more round to be in grand finals here at the mix up. It's just in his face, relentless. Okay, demon palm. Yeah, the palm beating the jabs. Okay, tried to go for a can hit there. Okay, Ooh, big nice. Big electric. You see what he did there? Used the down four, waited for a button from Super Akuma and punished perfectly. Needs to be okay because he's going to get a punish. Big punish. That is the correct punish. Minus 14, yeah. He has a bar of meter to work with now. Runs up. Ooh, needs to 
Super Akuma is probably just one clean hit away from taking this. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm on the edge of my seat. Forward four. One, one counter hit, forward four will be it. One health sweep will be it. Just want anything. Want anything. Oh, he's in rage. This is even worse. That wasn't a clean hit. He went for the mid. Good. Doesn't duck. Great from Super Akuma. Oh my god, this crowd is screaming. They're making weird noises now. They're making duck noises. All sorts. 10 seconds left on the clock. Nice forward four. Here we go. Goes to sweep. Big Oh my god. Still has. Oh, he's going to run him down the clock. On the deep Two seconds left. One. Oh, the clutch from CBM at the end there. CBM didn't duck. I can't believe he didn't duck there. I I would have ducked. I think that even CBM knew that. This the mind game of this that he's known for. Naroma versus Lohai. Korea versus Japan here. Tekken World Tour Masters action at the mix-up. Leon, ladies and lads, thanks so much for tuning in. It's going to be a crazy match. Let's go. Still oh. first to two, by the way. Yep, this is back to first two. I was saying yesterday, you see yeah. the Jack's body skull. It reminds me of John Ning, the, the broad shoulders, bro. <laughs> yeah. Jack looks like John Ning. Hey, John Ning should play Jack, man. Yeah. Here we go. She's gone with Jack here. And one of my favorite characters, even though people say he's brain dead and boring. And what's, what's Jack's game plan? What should Jack be doing? If, if you're a Jack player, what is what is your game strategy going into two, a match? Two, man. Two down back one. Yeah, <laughs> just two, 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 right? It's just to apply the pressure because Jack's not... Oh, that was a great wow, punish. Wow, that was an optimal punish. Yeah. yeah, that's optimal. But with Jack, I feel like he needs to insert his gameplay because Jack is not good when he's getting rushed down. He yeah. doesn't want to be in that situation. He has a lot of good moves which which he can uh, use at range, like his two jab, as you see there. The down back one, the forward forward on Jack. Hammer. Uh, he has a lot of good uh, moves at mid range, right? Yeah. But if you do rush him down, he, can, he hasn't really got any panic moves, right? No panic moves whatsoever, but just uses the holy move there. And yeah. is this, no, it doesn't cancel all. Down back two blocks. Wow, a good block punish. from low yeah. high. I wonder if he thought he was at tip range, so maybe the last one and two went off here. Yeah. Maybe. But, ooh, oh, no, he's went for instant that break, bro. Yeah, went for that tombstone. Hey, I think Lohai needs to be sick more often because look at that. Just reading those lows. Great reactions from Lohai. I wonder if it's going to put it into Naroma's head that maybe I can't use these um, risky lows. Yeah, but he just goes in there with the down forward two. Yeah. Uppercut. There we go. It's going to get pushed towards the wall. Just down forward two. Probably for that. <laughs> Went to check it to see if um, Lohai was randomly ducking. Yeah, yeah, definitely. you got to plant the seed early, yeah. man. If you, you want to make your opponent think, okay, do you know what? I'm going to go for a lot of down forward twos. I'm going to use a lot of mids. And then bring it back. But the one plus two coming once again. Not a movie see that often. Yeah, you don't really see that often. Yeah, um, you have to commit to it. And the second. <gasps> that was yeah. a whip punish. That was a whip punish right, for right, sure. Nice. Wow, Naroma. I never thought of using that as a whip punish. Yeah, it's actually very interesting, huh? Nice. Okay, I like yeah. it. One plus two. That move, you can duck the second hit. Yeah, you can. Of duck that it. move, it does track as a homing move. Homing move, yeah. yeah. Homing move launch. Nice uppercut. Here we go, Naroma. We'll get the wall here. Huge damage. Uh, 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 boom. boom! Look at that. Robot punch. So just dash up into his face. Seeing Naroma's a nice throw break. Uh huh. Just dash, dashing up in his face, waiting for Lohai to commit to something. Yeah, for sure. Now he has low high in rage, which means he has an access to a 14 frame this launcher where, here. This is where Jack shines because he's so good at keeping guys out. Just, yeah. You know, back dashing two jabs just to keep your opponent from pressure and coming in. Yeah, for sure. Well, oh, you meant to throw him to the skies there. Yeah, he wanted to throw him. Well, I'm going to call that. That's like the equivalent of Just Frame Skyrock here. We have to make a name for that. We need to make a name. Yeah. Ladies and lads, yeah, it's yeah. going to be a. Uh, be crazy hairy. Oh, wow. I've never seen the Oki before. I wonder if that's like because he's big bodied. Yeah, it might be. Okay, yeah. I've never seen an Oki before. Here comes a hop kick. So Loha trying to even out the rounds now. Two rounds apiece. Can, Can he get... finish it? The Buki Rock's coming yeah. to effect here. Doesn't get a wall splat. But the down four is enough. First match, final round. Stepping on Jack's Tims. <laughs> Those Tims, Them yeah? Tims, boy. Steel toe boots Those and Tims. Steel toe boots and worker man boots. Yeah, man. Going to work right now, though. Naroma trying to go for the uppercut. Loha not biting. Good punish. Yeah, nice. Talking in his face. Yeah, trying to mix up the timing for his slides. Doesn't want to be too obvious, but look at his poking away. Low high, nice low parry. This could be it. If he gets to the wall, yeah, this should be the round. Nice. nice. Good stuff from low high. And by the way, guys, it is still first to two. It's right now, here is first to two action. So if Naroma loses his next match, he is going home. Seems like low high really, at the end of that round, really turned up the pressure. We said this at the beginning of the match. Yeah. Jack does not want to be pressured. Yeah. It's like, it's like he lives like, it's like a double-edged sword. He lives by the pressure and he dies by the pressure. Yeah. And at that time, low high just turned it up. Yeah, for sure. The so punishment was really on point as well. That's something that Lohai, you, can, you have to be. Like his whiff punishment and his block punishment is really good. But as I say that, Lohai with the duck on the 4-1, he will take this to the wall. A, A, shoulder, boom, look yeah, at that. Big boy shoulder, that's like 60%. Doesn't get the flu sparks up on. Yeah, but a great read there from Lohai. And it's just crazy how many times he makes these crazy reads, right, and gets low parries on people. Uh, and uh, but we still haven't seen the Lohai special, the Rage Art. Will we see it now, though? 
No, oh he won't. Gosh, he just actually stood still, didn't do nothing, and he had the timing when Low Eye was going to run in. Yeah, timing is super important at high level Tekken. You know, it's all about you know changing up your timing, and uh, you know if, if you do get a download, which Low High is really what both of you guys are really good at doing. Yeah, you're gonna have to change it up, man. So we've got a little bit of a last week, last week, just poking away. Uses that back two, down four two. Tries to catch probably low high coming in with Dark King. Yeah, that back two is a mid. It's plus on block. It's really good. And he's, it's what he used a lot versus JDCR back in 2017 when he yes. won the uh, Korea Masters. I remember just dash up back two. I was like, wow. I, yeah. I, I didn't understand why I was working, personally. Look yeah. at that. He's just standing still. Oh, man. He is literally just standing. He's playing chicken with this guy. Yeah. I'm going to stand still. What are you going to do? Exactly. Show me, show me what you're going to do. Naroma on two rounds up now here in this second match. Oh, gosh. Shades of JDC are just using them back twos. Yeah, nice step on the jackhammer. Oh, the scissors come in. Mm -hmm. Gets the wall. Oh, doesn't dash up enough, though. Wow. wow. Okay. Shoulder barge. Really in great control. Plus frames. Hold these plus frames, bro. There we go. It's going to be it. Three rounds straight for Naroma. What's Lohai going to do here? Like we said, Jack loves pressure. This is, this is like a double edged sword. So, yeah. as you saw there, he was just applying that pressure. Low high didn't have the answer. When he's Jack's got your back to the wall and yeah. he's hitting you with full crash down back one, yeah. it's hell on earth. So he's chosen to go for an infinite stage here in this final match. Uh, now he did get pressured a lot. The, Jack has got some good wall carry wall combo, but the, the scary thing about Jack at the wall is his pressure, right? Yeah, that, as soon as you it, get yeah. hit by a single uh, full crash down back one, you're in a mix up situation, and he did not guess right in that last match. Yeah, so it's literally, you just have to guess what are you going to yeah, do, bro? And that. he went for a down back one again, and then full crash down back one. It'd be very interesting to see if Low High wins this match, and then we're getting to get to see the effect of this new rule change in Tekken World yeah. Tour, man. He here we go, final match. He went straight for that wall. He's like, yeah, I ain't dealing with that wall pressure. Yeah. You know? No wall because anything you no big boy shoulder the wall. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, just, Both you just guys just dashing dash up in each other's face. Just not look at that. Anything. Nice throw break. It's so interesting to see Naroma just dashing and going forward because Naroma is to realign himself with low high, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, just, I'm just back in. Okay, down back one. Yeah. Mixing up the timing. Nice hop kick. Here we go. The uh, low high with the first round. So there we go. Going back in. Great stuff there from low high. Looks like the stage is working out for him. Poking in close range. This is what you said, Bubsy. You don't want to be in close. Uh, you, you don't want to be in close range if you're Jack. Yes. Yeah, four forward one Woo! again. Gets the blue spark. That's half bar. Dominating those jackhammers. Yeah. I like it. Just standing still. I really love the way he's just standing still, waiting for low height. How many jackhammers has he ate this round? All of that. Okay. Here we go. Rage drive. Yeah. Good stuff from low high. Brilliant timing. Look at the damage, Bubsy. Just making that. That's that equalizer. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh man. He didn't let it rip. He didn't let it rip. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. There we go. Smack. Did you just see what happened? What happened? He just stood still again, <laughs> and he's waiting for low high. See what he's gonna do. He just whipped the hot kick. Yeah. He's, he's waiting. He's yeah. waiting for a reaction out of Low High, and it's exactly what got him killed versus Kalak as well. But here comes the forward back two. Big boy damage there. It's the way he's mixing up his timings here. Yeah. Low High is having to make these decisions, panicking with these hop kicks. And now you see Naroma being a bit more overextending, and Low High was ready for that. Goes for the hop kick. Here we go. Cues that slidey. Uh huh. Surf, surfing on Jack in the waters. Love to see forward it. One. Blue sparks. Here we go. Down, Down for two. two. Nice. P perfect punish there. 14 frame punish from Lohai. Now he is on set point against Naroma. Loser bracket action. Gets the punish there. Down full back. Nice read on the down back one. Yep. Hey. What's he going to do for Okizemi? Goes for okay. the surf. Okay, goes for the mid. Oh, that could have been a down forward too. Yeah, it could have been, but Naroma committed to a button. He wasn't we, ready for it. There we go. Just dashing out. Okay, down back one. Really mixing up the time here. Dash up, do nothing. Dash yeah. in, dash in. What are you going to do? Nice. Oh, oh my god. In his back. That's not where you, where you want to be hit. Okay, okay instant break as well. My Lohai is on point right now. Can Naroma bring it back? Last chance saloon. Nice duck. Oh my god. Oh, oh that was oh. just a little bit too late. If you got that whiff, oh. That, that could have been potentially. That you know? could have been yeah. it, man. Lohai. Taking it over Naroma. Naroma reeling back in the chair. He knew he was so close to getting that uppercut punish against Lohai. But man, Lohai looking so strong right now. He, yeah. he said he's feeling Kuma versus Lohai. I mean, just going to get straight into it. Yes, no, we are. Just, just no, no playing about. No playing about, mate. We're just going to get straight but into it. But you know this. what? These guys are not making noise. Let me get up. Hang on. We got Spag trying to hype up the crowd here. So it's, it's very interesting that Lohai has gone with Law in this match. Now, what I think is, is that Akuma has that Tatsu, right? And the second Tatsu is minus 14. Huh, I'm so sorry, I had to get up and make the guys hype, man. I, I told him. All right, cool, cool. But anyway, like I was saying, yeah. that minus 14 Tatsu can now be launched, punished by law. So probably yes. that's why he went to this 
lore in this match. And you know what? These guys had played before at the Master event in Poland last year, and it was such a close set. Uh, one of the things that really surprised me was Lohai dropped so many combos with lore. He was dropping every combo, and it was such a such was a it, close set. trying to do the DSS Legend Kick? Yeah, no, he's trying to um, ring memories back. Yeah, he kept on dropping yeah. it. But Lohai is lore looking like a different beast right now. Bubsy, here we go. We're going downstairs. Hey, hey. Boom! Ooh, Dragon Cannon! That is a lot of damage. Yo, but he has that rage. Doesn't have the bar yet. Okay. Punish that? Nice. Uh, that is the full punish, but doesn't get the tail spin. Yeah, the tail spin requires a specific oh. timing! Oh. oh my god! That was um, extremely risky. That was, that but was it worked out, man. It wow. worked out. He okay, uses the fireball, maybe try to catch him in the Oki. I know that Super Kuma said he wanted to have this match with Lohai again. He says he feels he can beat him, but Lohai's been playing so well recently. Look at that, not dropping the combo this time. Yeah, and this is a first of three. Let's remind the guys. Yeah, it is. Top three actions here. Losers finals. Winner of this going to go up against Cherry Berry Bubble. There we go. This is going to go downstairs. Uh, uh, mm. uh, big damage. That does so much damage. It does, isn't it? I love it. Not a really good stage uh, if you're um, if you're Akuma. I feel. Ooh, very interesting. So that oh god, oh, oh god, oh, oh, oh. No, he dropped the combo. Oh, he dropped yeah. the combo. Bubsy already been so much damage. Has he got the low high syndrome in Poland now? Is it has it flipped? Has the Damn. script flipped? Has he caught low high's illness? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he just reminded me about that. Okay. <laughs> He's actually ill, bro. Here Maybe. we go. The down three clean hit. This is perfect stuff for Akuma. Gets the wall. Okay. Oh, doesn't get the downstairs. It was a low wall yeah, hit, so it ended low. up being a yeah. scaled hit. But here we go. Nice duck on the sweep. But he's so lucky that side wall splat did save him from a huge amount of damage. That's been punished. Now, Perfect. this is exactly what I was saying before the match. Now, this is probably one reason why Lohai chose Law in this match. That Katsu now becomes launch punishable. Yes, it has. Okay, uh -oh. the EF. Ooh. Ooh. If that second hit, Bible hit, that was that back four. Oh, he hit it right the air. Fly Swatter get out the air. Low high three rounds straight. Takes the first match. Looking what does Super Kuma do here? Stage select, instant stage select. Yeah. Um, he doesn't look too phased though. We've seen this happen so, so many times in Super Kuma. Just needs to sit back, just relax and calm down. Yeah. Just have a little thought about what he's done. He's not going to change characters. He is Super Kuma. He's Super Kuma, right, yeah. He's the, he's the lower one, yeah. Yeah, he's he, the loyal. He's the loyal this one. pro is loyal. Mm. But yeah, he's gone to Dragon's Nest here because he still wants the walls. Of course, Akuma so dangerous with the walls. Both these characters actually are. But I feel like the, the, the floor break, not really so big for Akuma. So I just had a galaxy brain mo moment, right? Go for it. Do you think he's chosen this stage because sometimes Akuma can get the Tatsu and he gets like the re-wall splat and the re-wall splat, then the re-wall splat into another re-wall splat. I don't know splat. what you're talking about. That's like 400 IQ shit, man. Come on. <laughs> but it could happen. You've seen it happen when he does the Tatsu and he keeps on spinning around on the walls. Let's see if it happens here, man. Second game. Here we go. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Gets to the wall. Here we go. Say, man, you think. Look at the combo. Okay, doesn't go. I like it. I like it. So, so many people have been staying grounded because they know he wants to um, them to tech roll. Woo! What a punish! Could have got a Wasted in two there, though. Yo, use a Shakuru. Shakuru! Okay, down three, out of uh, range. Here we go, Legend Kick. Hold them plus frames, bro. Yeah. The, oh my god. Oh. He wants the Wall Splat. He knows he wants it. If he gets the Wall Splat, he's dead. Stood! Uh, no, my go. god, he's dead. Gonna be dead! No, I told you! That I told you! So much damage there, low high with the optimal combo there. Here we go, gets inside the party uh -oh. star. Here we go, hey, hey, gonna get to the wall. The party has started. Okay, goes for the damage and boy, what damage that is. Definitely, low high, not out of it, uh, not out of it yet. Still hasn't got rage though, interestingly enough. Good punish there on the back one too. Now in rage. He's and got it, there we go, seven, go down, let us. Obviously go for the down four at the end. Super Akuma not looking phased at all. Uh huh. Tries to start off again with the party starter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Salaidu. You love to see it. Okay. Nice. Hasn't really been using a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Party has started. Oh, but it's ended early, man. No, it's Fed shut it down. <laughs> I'm just like, the police. They may not know them words. There's the Feds. Yeah. <laughs> he goes up to go for those jabs. Mm hmm. Trying to put him in the. Oh, Ooh. beautiful way punish there. Beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. Doesn't get the wall, but. Very close to a wall splat. He has rage now, he's got the Reju. Okay. Plus frames. Hold them frames, bro, and such a... He could have got a down four. Oh! Oh, oh, no. There we go. Can he finish it? Can he finish it? There it is. Nice, good stuff. Great. I think oh. he used a bar meter there to finish that combo, though. Yeah, definitely does. So Super Akuma is really good at knowing what to do in what situation to get the optimal damage. Yeah. I, I didn't know that combo existed. Whoa, gosh. Gets out of there. Off the scene. He's off the scene. Here we go. 
Well, Both he, guys. He, he robbed him, innit? He needs to get off the oh, scene. Oh, that's go. gonna hurt. Junkyard in the back, right in the booty, but doesn't get a tailspin. Yeah, his party ended soon as well. Yeah, uh huh. That's Rames. Good stuff here from Lohai. The pressure is really, really good. I know his um, Super Kuba jumps back um, when he's back against the wall a lot. I wonder what it is. Mm. I have to ask him after. Nice. Look at that delay. The beautiful timing. That's what Super Kuba is so good at doing. He has a wall splat and he's got meter to work with as well. He uses it early, tries to go for the setup. Here we go. Tech roll from, uh, from Lohai. Use damage. We need to be very careful. Just dashing his wow. face, giving him the Maroma treatment. Nice, giving him the Maroma treatment. Just dash in your face. What are you gonna do, Cuz? Yeah. Because I'm gonna dash in your face. I'm not gonna press nothing. Yeah. Show me what you're gonna do. Show me what you're gonna do. He's gone to character select. Is he gonna go to the Habibi? <laughs> you know what is it? Say it to my face offline. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Say it to my face offline! Have you got the crowd is popping up? They get rowdy, man. We're gonna start getting bottles chucked onto the stage and shit. It's gonna get mad. Gonna Super! Get. We're getting hype. Did he go to the Habibi? I didn't see. Yalla, yalla, Habibi into Hayati. Kaifa Halik. What are we doing? Bring out the Arabic, man. Had you got Shaheen? Did he bring the Shaheen? Yes, he did! He yalla, did. yes, salam! Let's go! So I wonder why. I guess. The free in that match though against Akuma, the three plus four. I thought even if you get a side step on the fireball, yeah. with that with the range of the three plus four, mm. but maybe low high, like you said, sometimes you just have to go back to what you're comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Let's go. The Shaheen has come out. The main character. He's backing off. So I wonder if he has a. Um, a game plan against um, Lohai Shaheen. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know, Law is actually pretty good versus uh, versus Akuma because yeah. of the magic four to beat for Demon Flip. Back four works really well as well. But I think he's just going back to what he's comfortable with and kind of just trying to wing it, right? I always said you got to go back to your bad B sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the bad B, mate. <laughs> he should get the wall splat here. Yeah, clean wall splat. Tries to go for a tech trap. Super Kuma not falling for it. He's got rage now. Nice backdash from Lohai. Ooh, that's a clean whiff punish with the one, two. Ooh! A nice, that was, that was a good punish in that range. Oh, oh doesn't oh. break the one plus two throw and that cost him dear. It did indeed. Low high, one round up. Definitely knows when to bring out the, uh, the, the grabs. A nice float here. Should get the wall. Going for the easy combo, was only 3 3. Good little chunk of damage. Keeping him at the wall now. You are used low high. Nice, doesn't duck. Wall splat. Yeah, he's gonna get a wall splat. Go for the normal throw this time. Doesn't break it. He got the pixel of health and just running up, putting the boot to the sternum. Seven golden letters. Here we go, Lohai. Looking strong. Yeah, bringing it back. That's a strong answer. Maybe he knows something with the Shaheen that we don't. Well, he's just mixing it up now, isn't he? He's yeah. like, you can tell he's way more confident in his offense with, with, uh, with Shaheen. Yeah. But as we say that, Super Kuma does have that bar. Like, it's just glowing. And we see that that... Oh, oh, wow, what a punish! Great chase down there. Well, as we said this yesterday, the teleport is invincible, but once he stops, you kind of punish Akuma. Yeah, that wasn't a clean hit. So here we go, Super Kuma trying to start the blender, but Lohai not giving him anything to work with. Super Kuma wants to get his party started, and... That's the end of that right there, man. 2-1 to Lohai. The invite didn't get sent out for that party, but <laughs> <laughs> that got shut down before it is even planned. But Super Akuma is jumping back a lot in the co uh, corner. I really am wondering <laughs> what, what, what happened. <laughs> he chucked him a water bottle and he just got parried. <laughs> like, Akuma just kicked so out it's, of the It's just what just happened. Someone threw a water bottle on the stage and it was just like, you know, the geese parry. Yeah. But here we go. Trying to go for the standard 50-50 there, Super Akuma. The low, the, the mid low. Super Akuma fighting for his tournament life here. This is the loser's final. Yeah, oh nice, catches him ducking this time. The Wild who comes in. Let's see if he can get the wall. Maximum wall carry. Okay, goes to the cross up Tatsu. Nice. There we go. Ooh, he's in this. Okay, wake up four. Uh oh, this is where Lohai is very dangerous. The one down back two confirmed into a wall splat. That's what he's going to look for. Try to make Super Akuma whiff here. Nice low, uh, hop kick, but not punished. He gets, okay, gets a 13 frame punish there. Yep. I like it. So he didn't go for the one two because he wanted to keep him standing. Yep. He uses that homie move trying to keep. Oh man, he's working his way back into this uh, this round, Bob. Oh, it doesn't duck. He's ducking in his face. Down jab while standing four. This is really tense. He does have the rage. What defense? That was a great punish. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Super Akuma clutching it out, but Lohai managed to bring it back so close in that round. He's so on point. Didn't get a party started there, but a decent um, life lead at the beginning. Yeah, uh huh. Backing out. Hey, oh, that's gonna kiss. be a wall bounce. Yeah, here we go. Big boy damage. Hit this time, oh. gets him taken. 
Nice duck from Lohai. So aware. In that kind of situation, when you're in that blender, yeah. you're just not going to block. You're just holding back, waiting this to stop. Bro. Making great, great awareness. Yeah, making great. Oh, oh no. Dear. Obstacle straight for the raid. Yeah, less scaling. It was yeah. only two hits. This might even be dead. I don't think it's going to be dead. One hit away. One, yeah, one mix up away. What's he going to do? Jumping back in the corner. Nice back dashing. Loha is right out of there, off the scene. Trying to find his Dunk way. Yeah. Oh, boy. So people was like, what happened there? The low high. Low high. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did you see that, cuz? <laughs> there you go. Uses that demon flip. Demon yeah. Flip again. Trying to low. put him into the blender, the mix up. Nice. Punish. There we go. Uh, uh. He's going to get to the wall. There we go. Okay. Also go for the damage this time. Shakuru. Nice, nice duck. This time he gets a duck. Low high rolls up his sleeve. It's business time now. Where's He's he on got? the back foot. <laughs> Where's he got underneath that? <laughs> Big nice line. low parry. Seven golden letters. There we go now. Super Akuma trying to take it to a final game. Can he do it? Super Akuma looking to even up the set here. Beautiful throw there from Lohai and a great adaptation to the combo. He's going to get a full combo hit. 50% gone. He has two bars of meat in that, Bubs. It is very dangerous. The super is glowing. The super for Super Akuma is glowing. And he, there we go. Clean uh -oh. hit. Uh-oh. Gets the wall splat. Oh, my God. He's going to bring him back into the stage. Oh, oh, the, oh my God. The swag. Oh, oh my, my days. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Super Akuma. Super. The oh highlight reel. The low high fighting back. No, gets the toe jab. Oh, toe if he loses jab, now. Toe kick. No, the, oh, no duck. Jump back. Oh, my God. Super Akuma with the highlight reel. In that round, what a main, amazing match! Oh my god! Spag, I can't even talk. Spag, can you tell me? What, did he jump over and like re-float him? What happened? I don't know. We're gonna have to watch that one back. Up. But before that, that we are going to a final game. Two, two. There we go. I think he finally picked up that water bottle that was dashed at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, that was amazing. Final, final round. Well, not final round, final game. Final, final match. And he's going for an infinite stage. Crowd is getting hot. They're loving this action right here. Top three action at the mix up. Leon 2019 loses finals. Final match. Let's go. Is Super Akuma going to ride off the hype from the crowd? They are chanting his name. Mm -hmm. Okay, down four. Start off. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of those actually. Yeah, Good well, punish. Sha Shaheen has been. Uh, not Shaheen. Loha has been blocking them. Through that super is woken up now. The counter hit from the demon flip. There we go. Okay, Obster drops the combo. He dropped the combo a bit. One, one too many jabs. Low high now. Has rage. Needs to be very careful of the rage drive. Yep, Super is going to try and finish it here. Jump back, jump back over the low. Okay, jab, jab. Nice low parry from low high. Yep. Great reads. Yep. He's still in this round, man. Bubsy, I'm telling you, these Koreans are so clutch, man. There you go. What's for breakfast? What's the Okazemi? No runny eggs today. <laughs> 17 seconds left on the clock. Not a long time for Lohai to work with. This could be it. This that could be it. The Rage is going to be coming in. Oh my. How did he do that? Just being patient and waiting his turn, not overexerting himself. In the hub. Yes. I feel like, you know, Super Kuma had a massive life, but he just didn't want to commit to finishing it off there. Some That's exactly what happened between Lee and Chikorin. Sometimes when, it, when you're in that position, you don't want to like, go in too much. And that, that sometimes can really cost you. But here we go. Gets the party started, but unfortunate. It yeah, drops the combo, man. Again, he's been dropping that combo quite a bit in this set. Low high, stealing that last round with an amazing comeback. Okay, gets the float. Uh -huh. Super Kuma trying to jump. Okay, what's for breakfast? Spring, spring kick, spring good kick. stuff. There we go. Tech rolls into a mix-up, and a Super Akuma guesses right. One round apiece, two matches apiece. I like it. Kept the combo nice and simple, but here we go. Goes for the big stuff now. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, drops the combo, though. Drops it's it's it. okay. But he's Drops a combo, but he's at a 50% life lead. Yep. Uh oh, big, big damage it's gonna be. He's gonna get a bar meter from this as well. He's gonna use it immediately, but no dice. Here we go. One hit away. Can he finish it this time, Bubsy? I hope so. Let's not. Let's hope that. Okay, just back dashing out. Got the got the infinite stage to work. No, oh, there it is. Super Akuma now on set point to move into grand finals. We've said this so many times that defense is not just back dashing. You put that jab out there to keep him out. Yeah. Uh oh, that's all guaranteed. Big chance. Go jumps in. This is exactly how their last set went in Poland, man. It was so close, man. So back and forth. This is going down to the wire. Just dashing in his face, using that no Roma technique. Just dash up. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Catches him floating once again. Doesn't Ooh, get the Oh no, he version. gets the duck. Here we go. Gets the party started. Hey. 
Okay, also go for the tattoo. What's up? Oh, he catches him, duck in! Here we go. One mix up away. One mix up away. Plus and here we go. That's gonna be He's it! it. Super Akuma eliminates UYU's low high and secures himself a spot in grand finals. Wow, Super Akuma coming back strong two years ago.